Wagwan, Wagwan, what's great? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome and thank you very much for stopping by. My name is Chef Adrian Morris and you're watching Morris Time Cooking. As seen in the title, yes, today we are going to be making Jamaican spice bun. But not just any spice bun, it's the non alcoholic version. You know what I say? This is a revisit of our regular Jamaican spice bun with the alcohol. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. After the intro, we get right into it. We know about sardines, mackerel, chicken neck, chicken back. Nothing are waste, nothing are dash wet. And we are back. As I said before, this is a revisit of the Jamaican spice bun. If you want to get the alcohol version, check this link right here. After about three years, come on, it's not our first Jamaican spice bun. Easter is just around the corner. So I'm here to present this one to you so you can try this for you and yours. So without further delay, let's get right into it. All right, we're gonna add here my saucepan butter. Slightly melt this butter, right? Okay, the butter is melting nicely. To that, I'm going to add dark brown sugar. We want to melt the sugar particles here. I'm going to heat that with my honey immediately. Mix that in. We're not making caramel. We just want to melt the sugar particles, right? And we don't want to boil this so that the sugar grains become hard. And immediately to the sugar, before it starts to harden and everything, we want to add some malt. You can use whatever malt. This is non-alcoholic. You know what I say? I'm using Vita malt. You can use um, what, what other malts are there? Whatever malt you like. Or in Jamaica, we call it malta. Remember, we don't want to boil this, you know. We just want to melt the sugar, just get this warm enough. Beautiful. Alright, turn that down. Then we're going to hit that now with mixed spice essence vanilla extract. You smell everything coming together. This is a quick recipe, man. Browning or caramel, you know what I say? All right. And then we're going to add marmalade. We're using orange marmalade. See, see that marmalade right there? It's like jam, you know what I say? But it has the, the fresh orange peels in there. Yeah, dark molasses. Molasses give this such a rich flavor. It's just a unique flavor when you try this spice bun. And that's it for the liquid ingredients. All right. I'm going to turn off the heat. Let's give that a taste to see the sweetness level. All right. Pour that mixture into a bowl because you know it's still hot in the pan and allow it to cool down. You can put this in the fridge to speed up the cooling process or just leave it on your countertop. Rest that aside and then we're going to work on the dry ingredients. All-purpose flour, you know what I say? Or counter flour if you don't use all purpose, if you don't know the name all-purpose. So we're going to sift that to prevent any form of lumping. And I'm using pink Himalaya salt. Sifting this because sometimes there are some little things in there where you don't want, you know what I say? Brown ginger, nutmeg. If you have the fresh nutmeg, that's even better. Cinnamon powder and mixed spice. Now we use the mixed spice essence for the liquid ingredients and we're using the mixed spice here. It's a spice bun. So we need that to be nice and full of spices but not too overpowering. You know what I say? And last but not least, we're gonna add baking powder. And you don't know, baking powder, make the bun look nice and round like you. Do man them may attack. You see me? And tick like me. You see me? Yeah man. See all of that? We don't want all of the rock stone in our thing, you know. You go bite this in your bun. No, daddy, we don't want that. You see me? Good to go now. All right, we're just going to mix that thoroughly to incorporate all the ingredients so that we don't have part of the bun tasting like salt and part of the bun tasting like spice. We need to incorporate everything. <laughs> Forget that part, let me just say. <laughs> all right, in now with raisins. Coat them with the flour nicely. Mixed peels. You can find this in your local Caribbean grocery store or if you're here in Canada, Bulk Barn is a great place to find this. And in goes. We're just going to mix that up. Grab yourself a bowl. We're just going to... My 
liquid is still not cooled down you do not want to add a warm liquid to your flour it's just going to give it a little cakey consistency not going to have that nice moist bone it's just going to be cakey you know what i say so you prevent that from happening by egg leaving that to cool completely so while that's going come here move too fast i have a wash lime right here i'm just going to zest some of that lime to just cut away some of that raw smell from the egg as well as to add a bit more flavor to the thing whenever time i'm using eggs in my baking i always go in for the lime or lemon zest ensure not to get the pit of the lime because that's bitter and we're just going to mix that up i'm going to just allow this now as i said to completely cool and then i'll be back you, you see how quick and easy that was quick thing so this easter rest assured you have bun made easy on your table for you and your family if you want to learn how to make an escovish fish i have a series out on it how to descale clean and season your fish and even how to choose the right fish for easter i also have a video out on how to make the escovish pickle if you want to make that by itself in advance and store it in a jar have a video out on that what else do i have for easter so you know how we use the processed cheddar cheese I have a video out on how to properly cut that cheese. So you know, some people don't come and say, this slice is bigger, mine is littler. No, I show you step by step how to cut that cheese evenly and don't have the cheese breaking apart, just nice even slices. So check out the Easter idea playlist, man. This is gonna be added to that, you know what I say? Big up. And if you're liking the video so far, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. That helps out the channel tremendously. This will suggest to other people like you want to learn how to make Jamaican spice bun and please subscribe bring us to 500,000 we want to hit a million 2022 and I believe we can do it you know what I say we are putting the work and work will work so you do the, your part me do my part subscribe big up yourself you know the vibes and we are back gonna add our egg right into that mixture everything is already cooled all of that lemon zest the whole nine yards you see me i like to add my dry ingredients into my wet ingredients so just gonna gradually add in and stir yeah and don't worry that's not lump those are our raisins right add that in And we're ready to go. Not too thick, not too runny. What you wanna do now with your bun pan, you're gonna spray that lightly. You know, gonna pour, pour that mixture in. I probably get one bun from this to be honest, cause I forgot how big these pans were. You know what, one bun, one beautiful bun. You can yield two small bun tin. So we're gonna pop this now in the oven at 350 for one hour you know what i say and we're just going to use a skewer to test the inside of it and after an hour we show you our guan right now the bun is almost out of the oven what you need to make is a glaze this will keep the bun nice and glossy as well as to give it a little bit of moisture on top right so one water nothing too much coconut oil to add some sweetness of honey and that is it for the glaze yeah so that coconut oil will provide a nice sheen the honey will give it a nice sweetness on top of the bun you know what i say and just add water to just balance out everything and just leave this to stay cool until we're ready so i'm just going to set this aside and the bun should be out of the oven within the next five to ten more minutes all right all right all right there we go there we go just gonna give that a test comes out nice and clean we're good to go and we're just gonna go in with a pastry brush and we're just gonna brush that so to give it that nice glaze you know what i mean? say yeah man 
you have to do this while it's hot so everything just soaks on there and it has a nice beautiful glaze to it and as the bun cools this slit right here will just somewhat close up a little bit more but it's going to shrink a little bit more as the bun cool down all right i'm going to shake that bun out shake the bun from the pan and there we are so put that see that nice glaze we're going to get the glaze on the sides be gentle because you don't want to break this right realize it's not burn beautiful and i should add that i just went to pick up my son so after the one hour was passed it still needed a little bit of baking so i asked alisa to turn that down to 250 and leave it on 10 minutes until i get back right so in total i did an hour and 10 minutes but for that 10 minutes it was on 250 degrees fahrenheit so that's a thing to note right there but an hour should be fine you know what i say i just didn't want to remove it from the oven too soon and then it didn't bake right all right so turn that around gentle with the thing now bun is hot so it will break easily we're just gonna glaze that next side many people would not glaze the sides but i like to glaze the entire bun except the bottom of it right so slightly transfer the bun over to a cooling rack and we're just gonna leave that there until completely cooled Just gonna cut into the bun. We're using a serrated edge knife. Oh yes. Look at that. Mm-hmm. Nice and moist, baby. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. And there you have it. Unfortunately, I don't have any cheese right now. You know what I'm say? But I'll visit the Caribbean store pretty soon to try some cheese. But before I do anything, let me just show you what that slice looks like. <laughs> nice and moist you see that nice and moist look at that moistness it's not dry mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. proper 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 we're going with a middle slice look at that Look, you see that? Moistness, moist, moist. Mm -mm. Come, Jamie, come and try. Did you boil it? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I just break it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like it? Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Only thing missing is the cheese, bro. Oh, it's okay. I don't like the alcohol now. How much? It tastes really good. And it's two thumbs up. You can't, you can't really tell that it's not alcoholic. Mm. And we put one thumbs up. Is it too sweet? Mm -hmm. Not at all. I did one thumbs up or two thumbs up, mommy. I'm gonna ask you if I two thumbs up and get that one. Oh, three. <laughs> That's not realistic. I'll right, try it, my sleep. I could, I could only have two hands. Mm -hmm. And there you go. How to make your very own homemade Jamaican spice Easter bun. Non-alcoholic. So if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That will suggest to other users like yourself who want to learn how to make their very own bun at home. After all, I just heard that bun in Jamaica are almost 20% up. You know what I say? So get these ingredients and can bake as much bun for yourself as possible. So once again, no, thank you very much for watching and do remember to hit the subscribe button to get us to 500k. You know the thing say, check out the playlist there for all your Easter ideas. You know what I say? And until next time, safe travel upon the gravel 
and go and big up on ourselves.